What is up everybody? Back here again with another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I recently met this kid at my school named Robert in one of my classes. He has a, a cool little pond in his backyard. He has a few fish species, a little bit, a few large mouths, some sunfish and some carp. And um, he wants to put a lot more species in there, get it more abundant. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go target smallmouth uh, in a local creek. And we're gonna catch a lot of smallmouth and then bring them in a cooler in the back of my truck and we're gonna stock them in his pond. So like a smallmouth pond stocking would be really awesome to have a pond full of smallies. We're gonna do that today, we're gonna catch them. Um, I have a cast net that I'm bringing that I'm gonna use as well. And then I need to run to Walmart to get an aerator so these fish can stay healthy. Me and my bud Robert out, are out here doing a recon mission. He's got a pond in his backyard and we're coming back down to this local creek to catch some smallmouth to stock in his pond. There we go. First small of the day, look at that. Whoa, got a good one, got a good one. He's peeling drag. This one's definitely bigger than the last guy, for sure. Oh, dude, this is a good one. Nice two pounder. Good hole down here. That's like a two pound smallie. That's a good one. He was peeling drag too. He was peeling drag. Oh yeah, he's a creek monster. That's good. Dude, that'll go great in your pond. All right, let's put them down over here. How funny would it be if I actually did drive my truck down here? Got one. This is a nice, good one. I think we should go put these yeah. up in the cooler. It's a good one. So we're making our first trip in here. And we've caught three so far. Oh, geez. 
This is the biggest one so far out of the creek. Nice little two, two and a half pound smallie. We're gonna put them in the cooler. And then we got another little one pounder right here in the cooler. And then the smallest guy right here. Put him in the cooler as well. And then we got an aerator. We put the aerator in here so these guys can have some well oxygenated water. And then we're gonna go get some more and fill them up. It's a good day. I thought it was a rock bass for a second. Alright guys, me and Robert just got back up, we're done fishing, and uh, we caught One. another green sunfish, yep. and then another smallmouth, and they're right there in the cooler with the little bubbler going, that big old one's in there, we're going to weigh him before we put him in his pond, but now we're going to drive back to Robert's house and put him in his pond and stock him up. We're at Robert's house now, here's his pond back here. And we got the smallies in the cooler over here, and we're gonna go bring them out. Took about 10 years probably back. Yeah, they're wrong. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah. Dude, you want to weigh that guy? Yeah, I should, dude. This guy is crazy, bro. Really. I think we need a net. Mm, I can run up to the house. I can grab him with both hands, actually. Alright. You might have to hand me the scale, though. I don't know. Where is it? On the ground, right by my foot. Yeah, look at him. He's yellow. Oh, out. my God, dude. Look at nice. that tank right there. Alright. Oh my god, bro. It, was, it said like 1.78. He's bigger than that. You might have spit stuff up. They do that. Oh god, I don't want to hurt him anymore. We'll call two. Yeah. Yeah, that's up. Nice two pound smallie there. We're gonna throw him in the pond. goes. Look at these things, dude. They're like yellow. Here he goes. Another one. Oh, he was ready yeah. to go. These are pretty. Yeah. Number three. There he goes. He's yellow too. Yeah. Little green sunfish. He's gone. Boom. There we go.